environment like this that's controlled, you're trying to stress these guys mentally. Um, you know, when they get you know, in a stadium that's packed and screaming and yelling and uh, causing adversity, you're trying to implement that mentally. Um, you know, so it's, they've been handling it extremely well. I've been proud of those guys. Um, you can tell they're putting in the extra work outside the building. Do you talk to Russell at all during these OTAs, the offseason? Now's the time to try to see how far you can stretch your limit. Do you, you know, stretch a pass or something that he or maybe wouldn't make during the regular season, but might try to fit it in? Or no doubt, we we try to be aggressive with, as heck down here. Um, you know, there's a lot of throwing the ball down the field, uh, just to see the landmarks of our receivers, just to see the time of the quarterback. Um, so we, we encourage those tight window throws. And, um, you know, just the experimentation with this offense throughout these uh, OTAs and this mini camp has been um, just something we've been looking forward to. And once all the installations are done, now you can start to settle down a little bit and, and be creative as far as the formations, motions, and shifts. And then uh, with Russell, um, you know, he's, he's a pro's pro, and, you know, you'll give him some information, and he'll be a little bit outside the box. He'll look at you a little bit funny, and then he'll see it work, and then it comes to fruition. So it's like, uh, you know, he's a really good guy to work with. Um, you know, he's, he gives you feedback, um, and, you know, we also give him feedback. He's very coachable, um, you know, in a position that he's in. He could easily tell us, to, you know, this is my way or the highway. Uh, he's been very, uh, very good with just, getting around the system and learning it all and uh, asking questions every single day. So it's been great. So what's the philosophy when you get back in terms of teaching? Do you just build off those or do you bring it just all and kind of start from scratch a little bit where you teach it? Or what have you found that's the best way to do that? We try to find a, the same carbon copy as what we did uh, in this OTA and then have some formations and motions off of that if we want to experiment a little bit more off of it. But as far as the nuts and bolts and the meat and potatoes, it'll stay even flow throughout the whole process uh, in training camp. There's been a lot of movement on the offensive line, guys going in and out. When do you ideally want to have those five guys set? You know, it, you ideally like it, in, you know, the first week. And it's just, it's going to be a competitive uh, environment in that room um, all the way through training camp. And uh, like I said before, it's, you know, when pads come on, that's traditionally when you start to see the movement and you, st you see the solidification up front. Um, and that's where you can get a, an idea of who your guys are going to be. Do you get a sense of building some depth or having depth of tackle? Obviously, Billy hasn't done much. But what have you made of the guys that sort of worked through that? I think those stuff? guys have stepped up to the plate. I think, um, you know, asking those guys to, to run off the ball, typically when they're not used to that, uh, going out of their, their element a little bit and, and going into the unknown. And I talked to the offense today about just trusting the whole process and trusting the scheme. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll never put them in a situation where it's going to hurt them or, or try to put them in a bind. So, Getting those guys to buy in, uh, I thought they did a really, really good job of stepping up and, and giving us um, you know, really good time in the pocket and, and in the run game. It's really coming alive with those guys on the edge. What progress have you seen? You know, the, these, the outside zone concept, the, the whole world with the outside zone is just pulling the trigger and rolling and running and not measuring. And that's where you get in trouble, where you start to measure and slow down. and. When one guy is off, you know, the back's track is off, and then it just it turns into a, a, a bad deal. So, you know, getting them to buy into the technique that we're, we're getting them to, um, to do is um, a little bit outside the box as far as this system. And this system is extremely special, and you have to have that trust factor. It takes a couple weeks for them to realize what we're asking them to do, and, and they, once they see the back match up with their uh, tracks, it starts to get really, really nice. You gave a tryout to a local kid here, Max Borgie, running back. Did you get a chance to look at him? And he yeah, I thought he did some nice things. He's, he's, got, a, he's got good twitch. He's patient. Um, he waits for that lane to open, and then he pops it. So he, he did a couple good things in protection as well. What progress have you seen from Albert Oguayban on the last few weeks? Uh, Albert's really stepped up in, uh, mentally. Um, you know, th this playbook is not easy, and then with the position that he plays, you definitely know that you know, he took a, a gigantic step that second week of OTAs. I thought uh, he did a really good job of owning his job um, and not trying to do too much. Um, but I thought he did a really good job both in the run game protection, uh, pass game, opening it up and rolling. You know, he's a very talented player. He's a very explosive player and just kind of honing in on the details, allowing him to, to come, you know, through with uh, all his talent instead of just limiting himself in one aspect or another. Talk about the, the system being unique for offensive linemen. Is it 
similarly unique for backs, or is it a little bit more natural for them to sort of get the timing and the, and the point? It's everyone. Yeah, it's everyone being on the same page and, and learning to trust their tracks and, and not to deviate from that. And, um, you know, we, we we're, we're going to hang our hat on that, and that's going to be something we're going to, you know, we're going to pound into them, and, and they've really done a great job. I've seen a, a really good jump uh, this off season compared to the previous off seasons, especially the first year of just the buy-in. And um, it, it takes weeks, it takes months for it to click. Yeah. And uh, there was some really good uh, clips throughout this whole camp of it coming together and making it look the way it should. With the run game and the protection that you mentioned on Alberto, how has he grown as a blocker, even though obviously you can't show everything out here because there's not full pads until camp? That's the challenging part, you know, putting your face in, on somebody, an edge guy like Chubb, and, and running your feet. The willingness is definitely there, and it's, it keeps going up each and every day. So that's exciting to see. With this offense, it's the most complex thing for the wide receivers and the running backs because of these concepts that you guys put in. How much ground have you guys gained in OTAs with that? I think they've you know, done a really good job. We have that virtual playbook that they can lean on. It's uh, coaches coaching, uh, you know, being really, really detailed in each and every concept itself. So when they go home, they're able to, to go back and, and look at those details. Uh, they're able to get the script the night before and kind of knock out those other details with the motions and the alignments. Um, like I said, this is a challenging offense throughout the entire offense. And those guys, um, they have a lot on their plate. And it's not just using their athletic ability to get open. Now it's your alignment making it look like a run and then blowing the top off. So those are the things that we really try to, to, to hit home because it's going to help them out in the end. How much good does it do to have just be on the field as much as you've been the, the last few weeks for the coaching staff? I mean, you guys have been in different places coming together. Like, how much of your day outside of practice is sort of the coaches continuing to build the relationship on the staff? I think our chemistry on offense has been really, really strong uh, from Jump Street, and it just keeps getting stronger out here. Um, you know, when we go up here and we watch the video, yeah, those guys are on it. I mean, they're bringing up details that myself and Hackett took almost a year to learn, you know. Um, and it was just, it, it's just really exciting for those guys because they're putting in just as much, much work as those, those players. Because as a teacher and as a motivator, you got to be on your stuff. Because if you're not, they see right through that. So it's a really, they do a really good job out here uh, with the intensity. You see it. You see them running drill to drill. Your, their expectations for their, their group are really, really high. Um, and that won't deviate throughout the whole season.